All right, my friends, J.R. Dukes with you. Appreciate you joining me today. Got a breaking news story. You know, I have been all over this Fannie Willis, this alleged RICO case against former President Donald Trump and other co-defendants. I believe currently there's approximately 15 defendants yet to plead guilty or go to trial in this bogus, crazy RICO case that was brought by D.A. Fannie Willis and her lover, Nathan Wade. Well, the breaking news today, we're going to get right into it, is... Nathan Wade may be off this particular case because Judge, Judge Scott McAfee said he had to go or Willis and her entire organization, her entire team had to go. However, he's not through with the divorce that he's currently going through with his soon-to-be ex-wife, Jocelyn Wade. Now, the thing that is really important to remember here is that this has been going on for some time at home with Nathan Wade and, again, his soon-to-be ex-wife. Additionally. Well, let's just put it this way. His attorney gave an interview not long ago that we have talked about on this program where essentially his soon-to-be ex-wife, we'll just call her Jocelyn Wade is her name, Miss Wade, essentially had a list of medical issues, medical problems that she was experiencing and she was going through, and yet she did not have the money to take care of these problems and seek medical treatment among a whole list of other allegations she has made against Mr. Wade, Mr. Nathan Wade. However, Nathan Wade, as you remember, was paid at least $725,000, $750,000 that we know of for certain by D.A. Fannie Willis, his lover, paramour, whatever you want to refer to her as. So let's get right into this article because obviously this divorce proceeding is heating up and I'm assuming part of the allegations here and probably something that's kind of threw gasoline on this fire, so to speak, is the fact that Nathan Wade was apparently out spending the money that Fannie Willis gave him on Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade as they're enjoying trips across the country, cruises, trips to Belize, wherever, whenever they wanted. I believe there was even a trip down under in Australia. So let's get right into it. And this uh, particular article is brought to us by Fox 5 News. And they are a news station right there in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So here we go. Nathan Wade accused of failing to pay ex-wife's medical bills and cutting off his children. This is dated today, April 4th. 2024. There's a good looking picture of Nathan Wade, a very honorable and decent man, of course. Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade sets in court during our hearing in the case of the state of Georgia versus Donald John Trump, a.k.a. Donald Trump, at the Fulton County Courthouse on March 1st, 2024 in Atlanta, Georgia. The hearing is to determine whether Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis should be removed from the case because of a relationship with Nathan Wade. Special Prosecutor she hired in the election interference case against former President Donald Trump. So that's the caption under the photo. Coming from Atlanta, former Fulton County Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade, a.k.a. Loverboy, is facing accusations of neglecting to cover urgent medical procedures for his soon-to-be ex-wife, Jocelyn Wade, and helping support the couple's children, according to an application for citation of contempt filed with Cobb County Superior Court on April 3rd. In case you don't know, Cobb County is simply a county north of the downtown metro Atlanta area, if you will. This main city there is Marietta. All right, Wade was appointed as special prosecutor by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis to investigate allegations of election interference by former President Donald Trump and his supporters in the 2020 presidential election, reportedly compensated nearly $700,000 for his work over a two-and-a-half-year period. Wade's investigation led to the indictment of Trump and 18 others in August 2023. It depends on what report you read. We really just don't know how much money him and Willis were essentially able to squander off the taxpayers in Fulton County. And remember, additionally, the allegations are that they took money that were leftover funds from COVID. So we're talking about a federal issue now. This was federal money that they also allegedly took as part of 
Wade's compensation. And of course, there is a beneficial relationship between him and Fannie Willis because he admittedly took her on all kinds of cruises and did all kinds of luxury things together. Unfortunately, the, the judge, Scott McAfee, did not have the courage to go ahead and do what he should have done, and that is remove Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade and the entire Fulton County District Attorney's Office off of this case. This case stinks. This case shows nothing but fraud. Every angle you look at it, it is so clear, folks, that this is nothing more than, as we've been talking about many times on this program, this entire case is nothing more than an effort as part of the liberals, Biden administration, all the folks that's in bed as part of this lawfare to essentially, as the great Alan Dershowitz would say, is to get Trump, as he outlined in his book. And that is what this is all about. It's a rush to judgment to try to get a felonious, a felony conviction against former President Donald Trump in hopes that this will keep him from winning re-election in November of this year. We'll just have to stay tuned and see how that works out. It goes on to say Nathan and Jocelyn Wade were married on June 21st, 1997, and separated on August 15, 2021. There are reports that they have been separated on and off before this particular date in 2021. It goes on to say with Nathan filing for divorce on November 2nd, 2021, one day after being hired by Fulton County. Isn't that amazing? He's hired on November 1st, 2024 by Fulton County, a.k.a. his girlfriend, lover, sweet Fanny Willis, as I like to call her. And the next day he decides, hey, I'll just go ahead and divorce my wife. I got all this money. It feels good in my pocket. I'm not going to share it with my wife and I'm not going to share it with my kids. It says Jocelyn Wade files motion to reopen discovery. In September 2023, Jocelyn Wade filed a motion to reopen discovery in their divorce case, citing Nathan Wade's extravagant spending habits and inadequate financial support. As a result, Nathan Wade disclosed credit card statements in December, revealing non-work related expenses with Willie. That uh, with Willis, that is the enormous amount of receipts and documentation and paperwork that we have went through on this program showing all of their luxury trips. And of course, it is the great attorney, Ashley Merchant, that brought all of this to the forefront. Without her, we probably would have never known about any of this nonsense that is going on. Michael Roman files motion. In January 2024, one of Trump's co-defendants, Michael Roman, filed a motion seeking the disqualification of Willis and her team because of an inappropriate relationship with Wade. The motion also accused Willis of benefiting from hiring Wade. This is what we were just talking about with attorney Ashley Merchant. She represents defendant Michael Roman. It goes on. Initially, Willis and Wade declined to comment on the accusations and refrain from confirming or denying the alleged relationship. Remember that? They weren't saying nothing at first. On January 8th, Jocelyn Wade served Willis with a notice of deposition. However, before she was scheduled to testify, the Wades reached an out-of-court settlement, and it says uh, uh, revealing Willis from, or it was actually relieving Willis from further legal obligations. She was fighting tooth and nail, if you remember, in that Cobb County courtroom where they were trying to compel her attendance to this particular deposition or providing this discovery, and she was fighting tooth and nail, not to have to produce the information or give a deposition. We never really had to see how the final outcome was going to happen in that uh, in this particular case, but that's you know th th that's where we're at at this point. It goes on. Subsequently, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee presided over several days of testimony concerning the original motion filed by Roman and several motions from other defendants, including Trump, Wade, Willis, asserted their innocence, stating they derived no financial benefit from their involvement involvement in the prosecution of the Georgia election interference case or the relationship. Following these proceedings, Judge McAfee ruled that either Willis or Wade must recuse themselves from the case to uh, for the case to proceed. Wade recognized Wade resigned from his position a few hours after the ruling. Urgent medical procedures needed. The recent 
filing emphasizes Jocelyn Wade's urgent need for medical procedures, including an endopsy, a colonoscopy, and ultrasound. Nathan Wade allegedly instructed his ex-wife to cover the expenses herself with reimbursement at a later date, despite a court order mandating him to make direct payments to the health care provider. And they also have the application right here, defendant's application for citation of contempt. We will go over this later today in another video that I'm going to post. And I plan on covering this live on this program. So if you haven't done so already, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, subscribe so you are alerted as this information comes out. Folks, this case should have been dropped a long time ago. This case shows the corruption in the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. Fulton County has a long history. Again, we've talked about this, a long history of corruption going all the way back at least to when they had Martin Luther King Jr. incarcerated in the particular jail there, and they were simply going to leave him there, and he probably would not have been in the history books had it not been from John F. Kennedy making phone calls and bringing pressure to be to have him released out of the Fulton County, you know, complex going on there. They're, they're little evil shenanigans uh, all the way back then. So that is the news from Fox, uh, Fox 5 in Atlanta. We're going to stay on top of this and bring you updates as they are warranted. Again, Nathan Wade accused of failing to pay ex-wife's medical bills and cutting off their children. What a bad, bad guy. We will stay on top of this. As I said, folks, appreciate you joining me. Always keep that mind free. Never give up. And until next time, I am J.R. Dukes.